Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here this morning. Today, we are pleased to welcome Mr. Wendell Abarquez, a very special guest from Cebu Technological University, Barili Campus. Mr. Abarquez is an English teacher at Cebu Technological University. Mr. Abarquez's specialty is English language and literature. And today, he will be sharing with us his inspirational messages of hope and resilience during this pandemic. With that, I ask that you give your full attention to Mr. Abarquez and help me in welcoming him to the stage. Mr. Abarquez. A quote by Franklin D. Roosevelt once said, When you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot on it, and hang on. We all witness how change or the word change became more visible in this situation we have right now. Things became different for what it was before. From how we talk or communicate, from how we socialize, and also in our way of education. Everything has changed. This pandemic has been affecting the entire food system and has laid bare its fragility. Border closures, trade restrictions, and confinement measures have been preventing farmers from accepting markets, including from buying inputs and selling their produce and as well as the agricultural farmers or workers from harvesting crops thus disrupting the international food supply chains and reducing access to healthy safe and diverse diets the pandemic plays millions of livelihoods at risk. The food security and nutrition of millions of women and men are under threat. With those in low-income countries, particularly the most marginalized populations, which include small-scale farmers and indigenous people, being the hardest hit. Life before was a little bit hard, but with this pandemic we have, life get worse. We lose jobs, we lose the freedom to go outside and travel everywhere we want. And the saddest thing is, we lose people whom we love. When you try to look into the faces of these families, those children, you will really feel worried. Worried because the virus is still around us. And anytime right now, these children might got infected. Everywhere you go, every corner, you'll see the changes you'll see people who are in sorrows. This is what we experience and witness from the beginning of this pandemic. But this was before. Now, this present time, when you look at the faces of these people around you, you'll realize that it seems everything is already fine as it was before. People are now smiling, laughing, and enjoying as if there is no pandemic. This is because maybe we are Filipino. We always find happiness in every situation. No matter how hard it is, we always have that smile in our faces. 
just like the code that I have said earlier. When you reach the end of your rope, tie a knot on it and hang on. When you feel like everything is in the end, when you think like there is no other option, or when you feel like giving up because you're tired, you must remember to pause and have faith that there is always that 1% of chance of winning these challenges. Think positively. Just like tying a knot in the end of your rope and hold on to that. Today, we all know that vaccine or, or vaccines are already available. There are a number of different brands of this. This may not really cure the virus, but at least we can have the protection. Many people already got themselves vaccinated. With this, that 1% of chance to win these challenges we have became bigger. Hope is brighter and a brighter tomorrow is ahead. Have the faith that no matter how hard it is, this will always end. This pandemic may be really hard for us. But there is always a solution for this. Always have that hope that tomorrow will be as bright as the rainbow. Hold your rope as tight as you can. Someday, you'll see that it was not actually the end. It was actually a part of your long journey as a man. Thank you.